Dedicating today's video to at Mr. Luba 6A, who apparently also goes by the name of Lubomir. Unhealthy? Okay. Egg yolks contain all the vitamins and minerals and amino acids that your body needs. Welcome to the Intuitive Body Foodie Network, changing the way you think about food. Hello. According to Ask a Psychiatrist on this YouTube video titled Delusional Disorder, Delusions are fixed beliefs that are not amenable to change in light of conflicting evidence. Their content may include a variety of themes, for example, persecutory, referential, somatic, religious, grandiose. There are some people that truly believe in the delusion that they can exist their entire life on bananas and papayas, while you have on the other spectrum people that believe that they can go an entire lifetime on nothing but animal meats. I know enough about nature to realize the delusion from fact that even the carnivores and the herbivores of the animal kingdom tend towards eating things that they don't normally eat at times for unexplainable reasons. So for example, it's been known that cows and horses will sometimes eat baby chicks. And if you look at the life of a lion and a lioness, they eat the herbivore contents of the stomach of the herbivore animal that they have just killed. And need I remind you that the intestines that these lions are eating are full of pre-digested grass. And sometimes, like even my own cat, eats catnip and grass. So to believe that something is purely black or something is purely white is a delusion. I have run the spectrum of diets, low protein diets, high protein diets, low fat diets, high fat diets, low sugar diets, high sugar diets, vegan, vegetarian, fruitarian, breatharian, carnivore, omnivore. I've, I've kind of run the gambit of all of it. And what I've recognized is that when I was on each diet for too long, it would have adverse effects on my body. So for example, by being a vegan, for, I don't know, for what, like 10, 15 years maybe, my calcium supplies in my body depleted to the point that now in my late 50s, I'm just that threshold before osteoporosis. So sometimes it can take decades before your diet reveals the harm that it's causing your body. You know, in the meantime, it feels great. But you know, there is a, an old saying about variety is the spice of life, and it exists as a saying or as a proverb for a reason, because there is wisdom in it. The question is, are you wise enough to discern and to receive, to hear, that wisdom, or are you so dreet dreet stuck on your point of view that nothing else exists beyond your point of view as a reality, which therefore makes you delusional? You know, even someone such as myself that has been on this fermented foods diet, because the body is changing naturally as it ages, I suspect at some point in time, even that percentage of 85 to 90% fermented foods that I currently consume and have consumed for about the last decade will change. And because of that, I also need to have the discernment of wisdom to recognize when I have reached that threshold. And I think you start to get signs before you hit that threshold. So when I reach that threshold, I would hope that at that point in time, I have the discernment to make the necessary changes that this body needs. Forget about my belief system, but the actual nature, the actual reality of this body and this body's physical needs that exist beyond my delusions of reality for this body. So that said, now let's talk about cholesterol. Because for many years, many doctors believed that your cholesterol levels need to be between a certain scale and that if it goes below or if it goes higher, that you are in a state of dis-ease. Well, I know for a fact that's not always true either. So even that is a delusion. So for example, prior to going carnivore, my cholesterol levels were always under three. And then of course, when I went on an all animal based diet, which is rich in cholesterol, my cholesterol levels went to 15. So keeping in mind the medical delusion that the cholesterol levels need to be within a certain range or that you have entered into a state of disease and therefore need medication because 
I think I've shared with you many times when I was on the carnivore diet that my doctor just was freaking out and wanted to put me on statins. I said, no, my cholesterol was fine before the carnivore diet. My diet's the only thing that's changed. It's rich in cholesterol, so therefore it's the cholesterol in my diet that's causing this free-floating cholesterol to show up high on my blood tests. So I know it wasn't that my body was in a state of disease. It was just flooded with excess cholesterol because of the diet. Now, what would that have done to me long term? I don't know. That's why I made changes. I received the message, whether it came from spirit or it came from my body, that I would be on this carnivore diet for one year. And then I would switch because it's the body that's switching the diet, not me. As a thought, I don't eat. I just eat thoughts. The body is the one that consumes the food. So who's running your show? As a result of an omnivore diet that still contains a lot of animal and therefore high cholesterol foods, my current cholesterol level is around five. Does that mean that I'm unhealthy? No, it doesn't. Like I said, I still have a diet that's rich in cholesterol, which means that there's still a lot of free-floating cholesterol in my body. And part of how I keep that cholesterol level at five is that I consume a lot of dietary fiber because fiber helps to lower your cholesterol levels. All that said, if you have high cholesterol but you do not eat a carnivore or heavy animal-based diet, yes, your body might be in a state of dis-ease. That's not what I'm talking about here though. Going back to diets. I have had many people come on my channel and chastise me when I was vegan, when I was vegetarian, and when I was carnivore, and even now when I'm omnivore. I mean, heck, I've had people come on and chastise me that I eat too many fermented foods. But here's the thing. What I've learned about my body is if you have a point of view, bravo, because we all do. But at the end of the day, it's just an interesting point of view that you have that point of view. I'm in editing. I guess the only thing that I can really say at the end of this video is, is a carnivore smoothie unhealthy? I mean, because that was the accusatory message. Well, I guess it really depends on your delusion and your point of view. I guess the fun thing is we're all delusional to some degree.